The Scans Montage window is an all-in-one decision support tool. Once you've found the stocks you'd like to trade through the scans you've created in our platform, you can load up the Montage window to decide whether or not you have a trade. This window is designed to give you all of the information you need to make a strategic trading decision before placing an order. Let's have a look at some of the different features in this window. In the top left, you have the charts. These charts can be fully customized to your liking. You can choose different time frames, you can choose different styles, you can add your own unique indicators, and you can build and save templates. You can even annotate the charts with trend lines, resistance areas, and all different types of annotation tools. To the right of the charts, you have your basic level one data. Here, you can see the volume for the day, the dollar volume for the day, the number of trades, VWAP, and a handful of other data points that may be helpful in your decision-making process. Below the level one data, you'll find the stock's order book. This is the time and sales data that comes through in real time. You'll see the time an order was executed at, the price it was executed at, and the number of shares that went through in that order. This will be streaming in real time so you can keep track of the stock's price action. Below the stock chart, you have a few handy tabs that can help you find more information on the stocks you're trading. First, you have a news tab, which will show you all of the most recent news stories for a particular stock. You can filter these by promos, filings, and see exactly why a stock may be moving. You can also plot these news stories on the chart to see if they've had an impact on the stock's price behavior. The next tab you have available is a level two tab. Here, you can keep track of all of the open orders for a stock. You'll see the buy orders on the left and the sell orders on the right. You have four columns, one for the market maker ID, another for the bid or the ask price, a third for the size of the orders, and a fourth for the time the order was added to the books. If you want to learn more about the level two screens, feel free to check out our level two tutorial video on the resources page. To the right of the level two tab, you have an averages tab. This is basically just a quick snapshot of the stock's average daily price range and average daily volume. So we have the average daily range over five days, 10 days, 15 days, and this is for price. And right below that, we have those same ranges for volume. And we can just scroll through this data to get a better idea of how the stock may trade. For example, if we see that the average daily trades over 20 days is about 18,000 trades, and we look and see that today has about 45,000 trades, it's clear that this stock is definitely more liquid today than it has been on other days. We can also get a quick snapshot of the different moving averages and the different price changes over a period of time. To the right of the averages tab, we have the pivot point window, and this will basically show you the different support and resistance levels that the stock may encounter as it moves either upwards or downwards. And this is just convenient for seeing key price levels before you analyze a chart. Next, you have a trading window, and this window actually allows you to trade the stocks you're analyzing if you've connected to your broker. So if I've connected to my broker through the scans platform setting, I can place buy and sell orders directly through the montage window. Last but not least, we have a tab that gives you a quick snapshot of the stock's fundamentals. We can see the company name and exchange, and then we'll sometimes have data on the sector and industry. We can also see the share structure, such as the stock's market cap, the number of shares outstanding, the float, insider ownership, institutional ownership, and these numbers can help us better understand how the stock may trade. For example, if we see a stock that has a float of 3.5 million shares and it has traded roughly 12 million shares on the day, we know that it may be about to get volatile. We can also get a quick snapshot of the financials, such as the company's revenue, profit, cash, and debt. Lastly, you can see the short interest for the stock. And in this particular case, we don't have any data, but if the data were available, it would show up here and you could see how many shares were short, what percent of the float is short, and how long it would take to cover those short positions. The scans montage window can be completely customized to your preferences. Go ahead and load up the scans platform and start customizing your montage window today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team via email or directly on our website.